They are known as forever chemicals. They can be life threatening and just about everyone. All of us have been exposed to them. PFAS are a large complex group of synthetic chemicals that have been used in consumer products since the 50s. Now scientists are getting a clearer picture of just how dangerous these chemicals can be. It keeps our food from sticking and our clothes from burning. They can be found in house dust. PFAS are used in aerospace, automotive, construction, and electronic industries. Over time, they leak into our soil and water. And because they break down slowly, if at all, almost everyone is repeatedly exposed to them. The PFAS have long half-lives, which mean they are retained in the body for a long time. PFAS can cause increased cholesterol levels, lower immunity, and some cancers. And now a new study out of the University of Cincinnati shows that exposure to PFAS might impact young girls. We found that PFAS delayed the onset of puberty. The results found 85% of the young girls in the study had measurable levels of PFAS in their blood, impacting the same hormones that delayed the onset of puberty, which could in turn make these girls more susceptible to breast cancer, infertility, and endometriosis. Puberty is a time of susceptibility to environmental exposures. So what can you do? Use a water filter that removes PFAS, when possible, opt for products labeled as PFAS free. If you have old Teflon cookware, get rid of it because the odor it gets, the more PFAS contamination you get for the food that you cook in it. Good information. You can do that today. Just look at what you're cooking with. Now, the study also found that more than 99% of the girls in those two cohorts had measurable levels of PFOA. That is one of the most important of the PFAS. Now, new research will be focused on whether these are related to later life cancers, such as renal and prostate cancers.